Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics. Today we're going to be planting sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. Now they're an indeterminate tomato, which means that they get really big, so they need more room than what I've actually got right here. Some things that we're going to be needing is a plot where we're going to be planting, kelp meal tea. Kelp meal tea is just simply one quarter of a cup of kelp meal uh, and then added to one gallon of water. It's just steeped for a couple of days and shook every once in a while. We're going to need some garden dust. We're also going to need a fertilizer, something preferably with your second number being higher than your first number for the phosphorus to promote more growth on your tomatoes and your flowering. You're also going to need some sort of a cage. This isn't typically what I would use, so something larger than this and stronger than this would be better. Or you could even use a couple of sticks put into the ground, one on each side of the tomato plant. We are going to actually plant him on a horizontal. Every single one of these little hairs that are in this tomato are a potential root. I'm going to dig a trench and we're also going to work some fertilizer into this trench. I'll put a little bit of fertilizer in here. And then I'm going to work it into the soil just a little bit because we don't want that fertilizer to come in contact with the root system. And sprinkle just a little bit of dirt over the top. Pop this guy right out of his pot. Pull the roots apart just a little bit. We're going to lay it on its side. Kind of create a little pillow right here for this guy and go ahead and cover him up. Nature will take its course. This guy will start growing straight up. He'll want to be reaching for the sun. At that point, we're going to want to stake him. So we're going to put this in firmly. If you are using one of these type of tomato cages, they typically get, the tomatoes get typically pretty big, and so you're going to want to have something to hold down each side to secure this into the ground, because otherwise it'll topple over on you because they will get very top heavy. Now, as with any other tomato, in about every three weeks, you're going to want to make a little trench around here and add some more fertilizer. So just sprinkle a couple of tablespoons right around in that little circumference, cover it up, and water in well again. And you can do that every three weeks to, until fall. That's all there is to grow in a sweet 100 cherry tomato.